Poor soldier. Andre, when do you do the readings? Do you ever get tired? Yeah, I do get tired. I'm I'm still a regular person. Um, I'm a little under the weather today, so it does affect things a little bit. My wife can see things before they happen, and she has a vision. She gets exhausted. She's told me thing before they happen, months before. Cool. Uh, she just has to let it flow. I think a good portion of that is... Um, how we're getting into the psychic training for today. Sometimes psychics will not use the universal energies. Even not using universal energies uh, can be a little taxing on the system. It's much, much better using the universal system or energies <clears throat> flowing through you than using your own energies, okay? She has to learn to open herself up to the universal energies and let them flow through her. Uh, she's probably using her own energies, okay, uh, which is probably very taxing. So when she starts to connect with the universal energy, she'll probably be less um, drained, okay? Um, this one's called matric energy, okay? And this is... The, what I'm using right now is universal energy, okay? So she's going to, we all do it from time to time. We forget to use universal energy, especially when we're starting out or we don't have training or something. We we'll use our own energies to cause an effect, which can be very damaging to the body. If you're using universal energies, which is all around us, and it's easy to bring into ourselves with a little bit of training, it's a lot less energy and harmful to the body, less harmful to the body. Or it's actually re uh, healing to the body, okay, when you use universal energies. When you use matic energies, it can be very damaging to the body, okay? Hopefully she gets a little bit of training in that or meditation. meditation works and connecting to that universal energy and use it to flow through her body uh, and bringing the information that way. Okay. Using it's basically I, I, I when I connect, I think of a large extent.